Autism, also referred to as Autism Spectrum Disorder, constitutes a diverse group of conditions related to development of the brain. About 1 in 100 children has autism. Characteristics may be detected in early childhood but autism is often not diagnosed until much later. The abilities and needs of autistic people can vary and can evolve over time. While some people with autism can live independently, others have severe disabilities and require lifelong care and support. Autism spectrum disorders are a diverse group of conditions. They are characterized by some degree of difficulty with social interaction and communication. Other characteristics are atypical patterns of activities and behaviors such as difficulty with transition from one activity to another, a focus on details and unusual reactions to sensations. People with autism often have co-occurring conditions including epilepsy, depression, anxiety and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder as well as challenging behaviors such as difficulty sleeping and self-injury. The level of intellectual functioning amongst autistic people vary widely, extending from profound impairment to superior levels. Available scientific evidence suggests that there are probably many factors that make a child more likely to have autism, that include genetic factors as well. Extensive research using a variety of different methods and conducted over many years has demonstrated that measles, mumps and rubella vaccine does not cause autism. Studies that were interpreted as indicating any such link were flawed and some of the authors had undeclared biases that influenced what they reported about their research. Evidence also shows that other childhood vaccines do not increase the risk of autism. It's important that once autism has been diagnosed, children, adolescents and adults with autism and their carriers are offered relevant information, services, referrals and practical support in accordance with their individual and evolving needs and preferences. The Neurogenome Panel for Autism typically screens for a range of genetic mutations and variations linked to neurological and developmental disorders such as autism. This test can help identify genetic factors that may contribute to autism which can be valuable for diagnosis, personalized care and family planning. If you are considering this panel, it's important to work with a genetic counsellor at Map My Genome who can help you understand the results and their implications as genetic factors in autism are complex, not all cases have a clear genetic cause. Would you like to know more details about how the autism panel works, what genes it includes and how to proceed with the testing? If yes, log on to our website, gather information and book your test today. Thank you.